Welcome to another episode of I Did Not Know That. Ever wonder about something? Maybe you'll find it here. Check out all the other videos on this channel and remember to like and subscribe. This episode, Mayberry's Fake Floyd and the interesting story behind it. Hi everyone. So many enjoyed the episode I did on Don Knotts and the Andy Griffith Show. I thought I'd do another fun one from that program. I'm going to show you a 15 second clip from the episode, A Date for Gomer. The show opens with Andy and Opie just leaving Floyd's barbershop and Andy is bothered by hair that Floyd always seems to let fall down his back. There is nothing remarkable about this scene or anything that stands out. It's possible that 40 years may have gone by before someone, somewhere, paused their VCR tape and noticed something slightly odd. But before we take a closer look at that clip, let's talk a little bit about the circumstances around the airing of this particular episode. It's pretty interesting. The original air date was for Monday, November 25th, 1963, the week of Thanksgiving. But President Kennedy had been assassinated only three days earlier, and it was the day after Lee Harvey Oswald was then killed, so many primetime shows were preempted at that time. The episode was pushed to December 9th, 1963. Getting back to the clip, we can see if we slow it down and zoom in on Floyd, it's clear that it isn't Floyd. Aside from not looking like Floyd, we know that it would have been impossible for it to be him. Why is that? The actor who played Floyd the Barber was Howard McNear. A year earlier, in 1962, McNear had a serious stroke and he was unable to return to the program until March 1964. If you're a fan of the show, you will see that after he returned from the stroke, the show did a great job of hiding the effects it had on him. He had great trouble standing or moving his left arm, so upon his return they would always have him seated or secretly supported by a special stand they built for him. The cold hard truth is that most other TV programs would have just cut the character or replaced him. But Andy Griffith decided that he needed to be allowed to return and they waited for McNear to recover. Maybe that's why we love the Andy Griffith show to this day. There really was an authentic warmth about it that comes through that many other shows just don't have. Anyway, so we now know that the person in the barbershop couldn't be Howard McNear. So who is it? My first thought was that it resembled the actor Joe Kearns, who played Mr. Wilson on the Dennis the Menace TV show. After all, like the Andy Griffith show, it also aired on CBS. Maybe they had Joe walk across the lot and fill in. After doing some searching, I found that others thought the figure resembled Kearns too, and that it could be him. But after doing a little bit more searching, I learned that Kearns had passed away in 1962, one year before this episode was shot. Just a side note here, Kearns was replaced in that series by Gail Gordon as Mr. Wilson's brother. Gordon is better known as Mr. Mooney on The Lucy Show. So looking at the internet movie database page, we can see that there are no unfamiliar names listed in that episode. Who knows, maybe they just grabbed a cameraman or someone else on the set who they thought could pass as Floyd from a distance. Well, since it's been almost 60 years since that episode was shot, and most everyone else on that set has passed on, unless Ron Howard remembers, it's a mystery that most likely will never be solved and we'll probably never know the answer to this obscure little piece of this classic show's history. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure do enjoy making these programs for you. Thank you for watching.